all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit the sub button, subscribe to my channel, but more importantly, enter my giveaway. Alright, the link will be in the description. Go to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, whatever. Leave me a good comment and a good reading. Best comment will get a prize. I'm going to pick a couple of y'all out. I'm going to hit y'all up with something nice. So remember, shots fired. Fist Vegas shots fired podcast. Leave a good reading. Leave a good comment. I'm going to pick a couple of y'all and bless y'all with something. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and do that. But with that being said, Let's talk about the Bears, man. Let's stroll, let's stroll down to Chirac where the savages reside at. You know what I'm saying? It's weird because I'm in the, I just left the gym. I'm in a parking lot. And there's this guy. He's a regular. He just started coming like a few weeks ago. He looks just like Mitchell Trubisky. And it's weird. I was like, yo, I'm working out next to Mitchell Trubisky. He looks just like Mitchell Trubisky, bro. I'm, I, I was going to tell him that the other day, but I was like, nah, I don't want to offend him. Because, you know, it's, it's, it'd be one thing if I said, yo, you look like Patrick Mahomes or you look like Tom Brady or something. Who the hell? Is it even a compliment to be called Trubisky? That's kind of an insult. So I said, eh, I'll let him be. I just keep, I, I keep it at the head, not in the walk by. We keep pushing. But, you know, it's just like with Justin Fields signing a contract. Shout out to my man Justin Fields for getting a bag. He deserves it. I don't understand why Justin Fields didn't go higher after beating Goldilocks. What did he have? Bad ribs or something like that? He was injured and he smacked Goldilocks in the playoffs. So I don't know why Justin Fields is getting hated on. And you know I hate when they slander my black quarterbacks. Trying to say Justin Fields don't work hard or he ain't smart. They, they look for every excuse in the book. The slander black quarterbacks and I and I don't understand it. So I'm really happy that Justin Fields is in a situation where maybe he succeeds. Now I'm not high on the Bears. And it's not just because I, I have their first round pick as a Giants fan. The reason I'm doing this video is because the Giants have their first round pick. Y'all, people who've been rocking with me for years know that I only talk about the Bears when it's time to shit on Trubisky. <laughs> those, those three or four games a season where Trubisky throws for like four picks is normally the times I talk about the Bears. But because the Giants have their pick, I'm actually covering the team. I need to make sure they're going to be some shit. So now I'm starting to, when I when I do my research in the morning, I'm starting to go on, look at what the Bears beat reporters and stuff is talking about. I'm kind of in the loop in Chicago right now. And I'm not going to lie to you. The more you read on the Bears, the more research you do on the Bears, the more optimistic you seem to feel about Justin Fields. You can't help it. It's been nothing but glowing comments about Justin Fields. And we've seen the training camp pitches. The boy looks like a stud. He looks like a stud. Like, I, I'm going to be honest with you. How the hell can you start Andy Dalton over Justin Fields? Just, just, just the eye test alone. It's kind of like Mac Jones and Cam Newton. You see Cam Newton on the left. You put Mac Jones on the right. How the hell you start Mac Jones over Cam Newton? So it was like, I'm looking at Andy Dalton on one side. And I'm looking at Justin Fields all ripped out, bulked up, ready to do damage on the other side. And I'm like, this really should be a no contest. Because my thing with Chicago fans is this. Y'all not going to win this year. You're done. You're rebuilding. Okay? You're, you, you're not winning this year. This is your throwaway season. All right? This is a season that you throw Justin Fields to the Wolves and let him sink or swim. This is not the season, oh, we're going to win the division and we're going to make a playoff run to go to the Super Bowl. Nah, that was a couple years ago when you got Khalil Mack and, you, you know, y'all you, was spending money and shit. The, the, them days is over. You decimated your defense. 
offensively, you better pray Justin Fields is as good as the, the camp reports say he is. And that's all you got. You, you're not going to win more than five or six games, and that's fine. Let my Giants have our top 10 pick. But if you're a Bears fan, and this is what I'm looking forward to with the Bears, there's nothing wrong with having a Justin Herbert type of season where the, the quarterback plays well, but you lose games. There's nothing wrong with that. I just hope Bears fans are prepared for Justin Fields to look like a rookie. He's going to have games where he looks good. Then he's going to have games where he looks bad. But I don't think he should be benched for one game. Not one game for Andy Dalton. As a, now, granted, a piece of me wants them to start Andy Dalton. So, because my thing is this: if y'all start Andy Dalton, that means y'all are trash. Because Andy Dalton is gonna start like two and six, and then we see Justin Fields. So that makes my pick odds better. But you know, I hate that. Big Fist hates that. Big Fist hates when good quarterbacks got to sit on the bench for no fucking reason. Y'all remember when they benched it, when Deshaun Watson wasn't the starter? What was it, Tom Savage or Ryan Mallett? Remember that bullshit, how they didn't start Deshaun Watson the first game of the season? He was like, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, why? What is the obsession with a quarterback? Same thing with my guy Daniel Jones. He started week three. He couldn't start week one. So what's the difference between week one and week three? So I don't understand this whole notion that veteran quarterbacks have to start the first couple games of the season so they don't throw the young quarterback to the wolves. I'm sorry, but if you take a quarterback in the first round, he should be ready to be fed to the wolves. It's as simple as that. So he got his fully guaranteed contract. I think he should start week one. And I'm interested to see what he could do on the pro level. Because Trey Lance ain't play a lot. I don't understand how Trey Lance is better than Justin Fields. Justin Fields has a resume. Trey Lance played like 10 games or some shit. Like, I just don't understand how Trey Lance goes before Justin Fields. Like I'm confused. But it is what it is. Get used to me doing Bears content because the Giants got their first round pick. So I need to keep my eye on the Bears. See what's up. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas and I approve this message.